it's Randy. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I have officially finished my third trimester at chiropractic school. And also, as you can tell by the background, I've officially finished decorating my room. I need to go ahead and probably, I don't know what that is that's flying around here. I think it's some fuzz from this little blanket thing I'm sitting on. But I probably should do a room video just because of how cute it really is and how great everything came together and how decorated it is. But to keep this video on topic, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my third trimester experience at chiropractic school. Okay, so before I talk about the classes that I actually took, I'll go ahead and give just a quick recap on Tri-3 as a whole. So we took 24 quizzes, 24 tests, and we had 11 finals. And honestly, Tri-3, oh, and we also took 26 credit hours. Tri-3 wasn't as bad as try two it honestly was kind of like a weird try because we started to learn adjusting and like our classes weren't as i guess they weren't as like serious or well they were definitely serious that's the wrong term to say but they just weren't as like i don't know it just wasn't as much to our classes they were just weird it was kind of like okay do i how much am i supposed to study like this is it's just weird how we don't have as much information but it still feels like a lot of information so try three was just honestly just weird but i liked how our class load like our lecture classes weren't as serious as try two's lecture classes just because we were learning adjusting so it gave us time to spend more time on our adjusting and so that honestly really helped okay so now i'm actually going to talk about which classes we took so this was my binder my try to binder this was our schedule and i honestly um loved keeping all of my notes in one binder because i could study for one class and then just have or have my notes already out to study for the next class so it honestly just made everything easier i just had to take my binder out and i was ready to go for the day but okay so with our classes that we took we obviously we took adjusting one and in that class, we learned adjustments for the cervical spine, thoracic spine, and lumbar spine, as well as for the pelvis. And that was honestly a lot of fun. And it was very tough. It was difficult because it was just something that obviously I'd never done before. And it was, it took a lot of time, like trying to learn the adjustments. And obviously, even with practicing those adjustments for a total of the whole entire trimester, as well as like in class during lunch hours and honestly you still I still don't even feel like I really know how to adjust so it takes a lot of work and everyone says that no it takes time to really perfect your craft when it comes to adjusting so I'm positive well I'm hoping that everything turns out fine and I'm happy with where I'm at right now the class went well so I honestly, my biggest fear going into the class was that I am small. For those that don't know, I'm only 5'3", and I'm only 115 pounds. So it's always that stigma when I tell someone, oh, I'm going to chiropractic school, and they're like, how are you gonna adjust? And for a while, I was like, I'm, well, I don't know how I'm going to adjust, so it did freak me out. But honestly, I mean, it went well, and it was easy. We learned, let's see how many adjustments we actually learned. We learned six cervical adjustments, three occiput adjustments. We learned eight thoracic adjustments, and then we learned seven lumbar slash pelvis adjustments. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. But for the next class I took, I took lower extremity biomechanics. And if you remember from last try, I took spinal biomechanics. So lower extremity was taught by the same professor. So that was nice because we already knew her, we were used to her. And so it honestly went well. It was, I loved the way she taught the class because biomechanics can be difficult, but it honestly was a lot of fun just actually getting to see like different pathologies and different how people walk. We actually focused a lot on studying people's gait cycles and how they walk. So that was a lot of fun just actually getting to break that down. So yeah, I liked that class. Uh, we took microbiology. That was tough. <laughs> We had six tests in that class, well, five tests and a final, and that class, there was so much. I don't think I have my charts in here, but we had to learn so many charts with different viruses and different organisms, parasites, worms, bacteria. 
it was a lot, but I liked the class. It honestly kind of freaked me out though. I will not touch anything. And me and my friend, we always joke around and we just say like microbes, microbes. So we're always cleaning our hands. I'm always using Germex. And I just don't trust anything because once you learn what, how much is actually you come in contact with every single day, it freaks you out. So that was a good class though. Um, I took neuroanatomy. This was the last anatomy course. I took anatomy one and try one, two and try two, and neuro for try three. And honestly, it was, it was tough, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun just because it's like, this is going to be things that you have to focus on in the future. So we learned a lot of the tracks as well as like the cranial nerves and just the different um, sections of the brain. And we had a lab portion to that, te to that class as well. So we had to identify a lot of different structures in the brain. And so it was a tough course, but it honestly was a lot of fun. And I loved neuro. And I think that I grasped the big, big concepts that I needed to grasp from that class. So I'm just happy about that. Because I think in try six, we'll take clinical neuroanatomy or clinical neuro. So that'll be a lot of fun. But hopefully I hold on to the neuro that I learned this trimester so that it's okay by the time I get to try six. Uh, we took physics principles of diagnostic imaging. So, in other words, we took how to make an x-ray machine <laughs> and what makes up an x-ray machine. And this class was only a two-hour credit cor course class. However, I studied the most for that class because of how many terms we actually had to learn about the whole x-ray machine. And, yeah, that class was tough. That class stressed me out. I, we always say it's always those baby classes with the smallest amount of credit hours that give you the most trouble. And that one definitely did, but it was okay. I mean, there wasn't much to like, it, it is, it has to do with my field, of course, because we're going to x-ray patients, but it also was just like the engineer side of x-ray machine. And I obviously did not major in engineering in for my undergrad. So I... I wasn't really excited for that class, but it's okay. Uh, we took physiology two, and in this course, we went over neurophysiology, uh, endocrine physiology, and renal physiology. And this course was, it really wasn't that bad. It was kind of weird how like our course broke down and how it went, but it honestly was a good course. I mean, we took phys one last trimester, and so we took Phys 2 this trimester, we'll take Phys 3 next trimester. And so, I mean, I honestly, I liked it. It was just kind of, I don't know. I mean, it was kind of some things that we've learned already, like with neurophysiology and action potentials and depolarization and all of that. And then for endocrine, we've been learning about different um, hormones since try one. So... That was kind of like a review but just studying it on like a cellular level a cellular level and how everything works it was just kind of cool so i was i was partial to that class it wasn't like my favorite class but it wasn't like oh i'm so sick of this class so it was okay uh we also oh that's the last class so this is the last class we took was systems path one so last trimester we did take a pathology course i think it was just like general path so this one was systems path and I honestly I loved it like it started out so much fun and I think I like I like path so much because I know like there's this ordeal that a lot of chiropractors or not a lot but some chiropractors don't they really just focus on just the spine and I don't want to be that chiropractor that just focuses on just the spine I mean it works for many chiropractors and that's what they're passionate about but I'm also passionate about like if my patient comes into my office and they're just describing some different symptoms to me, I want to be able to know like, oh, that's kind of a different sign than just we need to look at your spine, but maybe something else. So I want to be that type of chiropractor that can catch that type of stuff for my patients. So I did pay a lot of attention in that class, and we also did talk about rheumatoid arthritis this trimester. So that was a lot of fun just to actually know, you know, just to learn about me, even though I already knew about me, but... That whole section about different joint um, and, and, and systemic diseases was just a lot of fun and I really enjoyed that section. So, I mean, just to wrap it up, this was kind of quick 
compared to Try 2, because Try 2 was a lot, if you remember from that from that video, and Try 3 wasn't, it just didn't have as much meat to it. But it was a lot of fun, and I honestly am loving this journey. I'm already done with my first year of chiropractic school, which is crazy to think that that first year just flew by as fast. Everyone says it goes by as fast, but of course, before you start the program, you're like, there's no way this is going to take forever. We have 10 trimesters, but I'm already done with three of them. So, and honestly, it went well, and I loved it, loving every second of it, and I just can't wait to see what the next try spring, next Try four, we actually start like our clinical our clinical um, classes. So we get our doctor bags at the beginning of the trimester. So that'll be a bunch of fun and really cute. And I can't wait to get those. And honestly, try four is supposed to be tough. <laughs> we already saw our schedule. I would pull it up, but I'm recording with my phone. And it is, mm, it's rough. It's like eight to four, eight to five every day. So... Just keep me and y'all's thoughts for next trimester, for the spring, because I already know I'm going to be tired, but it's okay. I'm going to put my best foot forward because that's all I can do, honestly, at the end of the day. So, of course, as always, if y'all have any questions about chiropractic school, then please ask me. A few of y'all have asked me, and I definitely will respond. Honestly, on YouTube, I do not get notifications. I don't get all of them, and I don't know why. Like, I don't get notifications when someone comments on my video or when someone likes my videos, I don't know why YouTube just doesn't send us an email or whatever. So the best way to reach me so I can see it right away is to either DM me on Instagram, which my link for my Instagram will be below, or just to send me an email, and my email will be below, because I definitely see those every single day. So as always, I hope that y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. Goodbye!